Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to evaluate this t function wherein the value of x is equal to x plus 1. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Basically guys, this one is under evaluating functions. But the difference from our previous videos and this video is that we will evaluate this function t and the value of x or our input is an expression. We have x plus 1. So how are we going to evaluate this? So as simple as this, we will just substitute the value of x or x will be replaced by x plus 1. So magiging t, then since your x is x plus 1, this variable x will be replaced by x plus 1. And also, for the entire expression, this is 2. And now, as you can see, we have your x squared. This x will be replaced by x plus 1. This is x plus 1 squared. Then for minus 6x, here, dito pa tayo, ha? Minus 6. Then your x will be replaced by x plus 1. And kung mapansin yung pattern natin, what we are doing is that we are just replacing the variable x with x plus 1. And then later on, we will simplify it. Then over, for the denominator, this is x replaced by x plus 1. Then minus 3. Now, as a grade 11 student, dapat medyo alam nyo na yung pag multiply or pag square ng binomials, like this one. This is t times x plus 1. Then, copy mo na yung 2. Itong x plus 1 squared natin, when we square the binomial, that would be x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then, for this part, negative 6 times x plus 1. Distributive property lang muna tayo. Negative 6 times x is minus 6x. Negative 6 times 1 is minus 6 plus 2. Now, for your denominator naman, copy your x and then simplify 1 minus 3. That is minus 2 or negative 2. For your denominator, we still have the parentheses. We will distribute 2 to this trinomial. 2 times x squared. Copy muna natin to. That is 2x squared. Next, 2 times 2x. Thus, plus 4x. 2 times 1, that is plus 2. And this is minus 6x. And then we can simplify this. Negative 6 plus 2, that is minus 4, over x minus 2. Now, in our numerator, we can combine like terms. So, let's see kung kasha pa ba. Ito wala naman siyang like terms, so we will copy 2x squared. And this is 4x, then negative 6x. That would be negative 2x kapag kilumbayin natin. Okay? Tapos, itong ating 2, then negative 4. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 over x minus 2. Ngayon, medyo tricky ito kasi baka kung mapansin nyo, wala na tayong pwedeng combine and then simplify na rin natin yung denominator, maybe he will stop here. Pero, as much as, much as possible, you can factor out something. Check mo kung meron tayong pwedeng simplify. As you can see, yung ating numerator, lahat sila may common na 2. So, we can express this. Pwede siya maging labas natin 2 times x squared minus x and then, minus 1. Kaganda nga si guys, pag pina-factor out natin, anong nangyayari? Possible na makakita tayo ng pwede natin cancel out. But luckily, after factoring out this numerator, naging ganito siya, wala na tayong pwede cancel out. So we can declare that the answer, or the possible answer is for the function t, function t, when evaluated by x is equal to x plus 1, we have the answer of, 2x squared minus 2x minus 2 over x minus 2 or this one. So you hope guys you learned something from this video and if you are new to my channel don't forget 
to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest videos. So that's it guys. Peace out.